entered a fake Facebook contest and got the entire page taken down. DLDR, a Facebook page rigged a giveaway so I got their entire page removed. This happened about 6 years ago when I was 17 years old. At the time I was really into drones and was spending a good 2 hours a day watching drone footage and daydreaming about buying a DJI Phantom 4. One day, while browsing drone videos on Facebook, I came across a page called Drone Uplift with loads of likes and tons of cool videos of drones and accessories. To my delight, I saw that this page was holding a giveaway in partnership with a popular drone store for a DJI Phantom 4. The basis of this giveaway was in just over a month from now, whichever Facebook user on their page had interacted the most, would be selected as the winner and be sent the drone. At this time I was pretty comfortable with my high school classes and was working a part-time job. The giveaway had started a couple days prior so I decided I would pour all my free time into winning this drone. I went back on every post, and I'm talking probably around 200 at this point, and liked it, tagged my friends and co-workers, and commented something I thought was interesting. That's not where I stopped. I got all my friends and co-workers to start replying to any of my comments I tagged them in and even started the drone club at my school with the premise of everyone interacting with my comments to aid in my affairs. At its peak I probably had around 50 people regularly liking and replying to my comments on posts that had around 20 comments max. I also noticed that this Facebook page had yet to start using Instagram. I checked if the handle drone uplift was available and grabbed it right away. I created a login for the handle and messaged the Facebook page telling them they could log in, change the password, and secure it for their own purposes. They replied thanking me, secured the handle, and posted a video there within the week. The week leading up to the giveaway date I'm feeling pretty fucking pumped. I'm the top contributor by far on the page and everyone I know is telling me that I'm a clear winner for the giveaway. The date of the giveaway comes up and to my dismay I don't win. They announce the winner as James Wilkins or something like that. Now remember at this point I know this Facebook page inside out. I immediately search through the page and find only 10 posts with this guy interacting. I message the page asking about their decision and they just give me some bullshit as we about his comments being more relevant than mine. I'm feeling pretty lame at this point so I emailed the drone store that they partnered up with asking about their involvement in the decision process. They mentioned that they weren't aware of any giveaway partnership. Next. I look into this guy's Facebook account and it was made the same time that the giveaway was. I started to understand that I had been played a fool. Now I'm choked and embarrassed. I involved so many people in my life to help with this whole ordeal and feel like I wasted all of their time. I had to do something. Mind you, I tried to contact Facebook about the whole thing but wasn't getting any response back. I screenshotted the entire ordeal and sent it to the rep from the shop I was talking to and told him this page was making them look really bad with a fake giveaway. His reply said something along the lines of thank you we are now investigating this issue and considering legal action. Nice. I didn't stop there. I took screenshots of those emails too and created my own Facebook page called Drone Uplift is a Scam. And posted the entire thing on the page. Then I messaged everyone that I noticed was a high contributor to the page during my previous month of diligence with my story and had them post about their interaction as well. My page ends up getting decent traction with people talking about how pissed they were that the whole thing was fake so that whenever you searched for their page on Facebook, mine showed up right below it. A week later their entire page and Instagram had been removed and I never saw them again. I checked probably every month after that to see if they would attempt to return but my personal vendetta had been satisfied. Don't fuck with high school kids on the internet. They got time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to help me in my fight against unfinished stories.